What's the vibes? What's the vibes? Top of the morning, top of the evening, top of the afternoon, whenever this may find you on Dream. You can follow me on Twitter, Mr. Dreamy One, Mr. Dreamy One on Twitter. Um, and yeah, about to give you all some playoff picks today and give you all a little bit of my um, <clears throat> opinion on the games today, um, aside from picks as well, but most importantly, the picks. So, quick recap. Yesterday, whew, Oh, I got to think. I know I went 4-4 four and four yesterday, so I may have went 3-4 and four here. Uh, I had the right play on Dante. I, I called that perfectly, but boy, he hit a 3 with one minute left, and that basically uh, was the difference between profit and non-profit for the day because uh, we had him not hitting the 3 at plus 185. Just like I thought, he wasn't going to play a lot of minutes. He didn't. Then he came in with like two minutes left in the game and hit a 3 with one minute left. Still went under his PRA. Uh, Dre covered his RA. De'Aaron Fox was clearly done. Um, he didn't cover his RA for the first time in like five five games that series. Um, Wiggins was a flop with the stocks. Uh, <clears throat> that heat under, oh, it was a gut play that should have hit. But like I told y'all, that um, Dubs under was way under, and it was under 220 if I'm not mistaken, or it was under 221, so really not even, you know, not uh, no sweat under. It looked kind of funny for the first quarter, maybe first half, but like game sevens tend to do, um, it wound down, and shout out to Steph for the 50 points. That boy was shooting. I, I wanted to take his over, but I wasn't going to take it in a game that I felt it wasn't going to be a lot of scoring in because his over was too high. It was 32 and a half. Obviously, he scored 50. It was, it was high for a reason, uh, but yeah, so... Uh, that's the recap, and let's get into today's game. First game, you got a, uh, let me see, what was this? <laughs> um, Boston and Philly. Um, I'm not sure what the total is. Like, I think it's 214, um, and the spread is 10. And long story short, man, I'm looking at a few players. I'll go through my two officials that I have so far, then I'll go into um, other players that I'm looking at, maybe, like maybe poly pieces or maybe just to monitor them, and then we'll talk about Embiid, who actually made play, who knows, so uh, my first play was Tyrese Maxey over two and a half assists, um, this play is mostly fueled um, by two things, one, it's a low number and it's low for a reason, but two, if Embiid doesn't play, I love this number, he's gone over this number nine of the last ten regular season games he played uh, without Embiid, I'm pretty sure they were all in 2000. On this season, 2022, 2023. Uh, so yeah, he went over this two and a half and nine of the ten games that he played uh, without Embiid. And even last series, uh, game one, he had like six assists, and he went over this two of those four games. Um, last series, obviously, one game was without Embiid, one game was with Embiid. So under two and a half, whether Embiid plays or not, even if Embiid is compromised, you can expect Maxi's um, usage to go up. Um, if he gets it going, they may send a double. I doubt that, but he's going to be more penetrating and kicking. Um, he actually struggles against Boston. I was looking at his game log this year against Boston, and he only had, I think he had a dub one time, like 20-something one time. Then all the other games, he was under 10. So um <clears throat> don't mean he can't go for 40 tonight, but it's just me. I'm looking t more towards his assists um, over two and a half, and I think they do have ladder potential if Embiid doesn't play. Um, if Embiid does play, I still like to play, but I will lay off the ladders, all right? Um, next, um, official play, Derek White, over 13 and a half points. Um, that first bet I got on Maxi was minus 132. I got it on FanDuel. Um, I'm not sure where it's at now. Uh, it still should be around there because there's news coming out that Embiid may play tonight, so... Um, if Embiid does play tonight, you're going to be able to get that at minus 110 by tip. But if he doesn't play, I think it'll uh, close like juice, like minus 150, minus 145, something like that. That's why I hopped on the 132. <clears throat> this Derek White, uh, over 13 and a half, it's at minus 120 on FanDuel. Uh, I think that's the best price you can get. Shop around. Um, but I, I think that's the best price. You might be able to get some 115s at BetMGM. Um, but this number is simple, man. If you've been watching Derek White, um, this playoffs, he's been balling. He's f over this number four of six games last series. Um, so he was really, he was scoring. Um, 
He played the 76ers four times this year. He's over the number three of four games going against them. Um, <clears throat> and the only game he didn't go over was in 2022. So in 2023, he's three of three against the 76ers over this number. Um, he had 30 plus minutes every game last series, which means that if he's starting, he's the first one off the bench, whatever they're going to do, he's getting 30 minutes. And um, for his career, uh, Derek White is averaging 14.6 points per game um, when playing at least 25 minutes. So <clears throat> for all those reasons, plus the fact that who knows with uh, <laughs> Doc, but you would think that they're going to try to neutralize either Tatum or Brown, and that's going to leave food for uh, Derek White, Malcolm Brogdon, those type of guys. So <clears throat> I'm going to get on Derek White. Like I said, uh, he's been balling for over this number, basically 14 plus points for the last uh, four of six games last series. Um, every game we played Philly this season in 2023, he's gone over this number. Um, one of those games was without uh, Brown. One that he went over was with both of them. Um, so all the bases are covered. I like to play over 13 and a half. Um, I wouldn't ladder it just because, you know, it's, you know, it's Derek White. You know what I'm saying? He could have 20, he could have 25. But um, to me, I would more put like his 15 or 16 points, maybe even his 18 points as like a parley piece or something like that. Um, if you want to, you know, maybe put that with maxi four assists, um, you know, 15 and four assists, and then you throw in, you know, maybe a Tobias Harris over six and a half rebounds, just, you know, if Embiid doesn't play. Uh, that's like plus 1,000, plus 1,100, so something like that. Um, so those are the official plays, maxi over two and a half assists, Derek White over 13 and a half points. Um, other looks from this game, um, Tobias Harris, I just mentioned his rebounds, if Embiid does not play, uh, the homie Monotone, follow him on Twitter, I think it's Monotone Football, um, but yeah, he also being, uh, the homie Crispy Cap in Spaces as well, but, uh, he gave out a play, like, I don't know, the last Philly game, which was like two weeks ago, he gave out Tobias Harris over one and a half rebounds, um, it was a great play, <clears throat> Uh, he gave it over, I'm sorry, one and a half rebounds in the first quarter. It was a great play. Um, I think he ended up with like three or four in the first quarter. I couldn't wait to tell that again. I will be telling that again. I don't know if he's going to give it out or not. And I want to give out my man sauce, but I will be telling that look again if Embiid doesn't play. So if Embiid doesn't play, you got to like Tobias Harris rebounds in general. Um, he had two double-doubles last series against the Nets. Um, and he had three double-doubles um, three of the last 10 games without Embiid this year, this season. So he is going to hit the boards, um, assuming that Embiid doesn't play. But I will lay off of it, maybe sprinkle a little something. You know, if you want to do a little party for like a little tenth of a unit, a little fifth of a unit, and then just try to get ahead of the stuff, then, yeah, I can't talk you off of that. Even though you probably would have got better numbers a day or two ago um, <clears throat> when the news first hit, when nobody thought. And B was playing. Um, so yeah, Tobias rebounds would be a good look. And Harden, over two and a half threes. If MB doesn't play, I may get there with this. It's minus 122 right now on FanDuel. That Tobias rebounds is over six and a half, over seven and a half for the game, by the way. Six and a half juice, like minus 140, seven and a half, uh, plus money everywhere else. Uh, but this Harden, um, let me see. Look at my notes here. Okay, so he went over this number two or four games last series, and um, four of his last five games without Joel Embiid, he's gone over this number. So it's just simple. You know, you expect Harden to get more shots. We know Harden is not the best at finishing anymore. He's not going past people like he used to. He's more liable to take a step back three. So if you're going to get eight to nine three-point attempts a game with James Harden, you know, I can't talk you off his over two and a half three. So... Uh, if Embiid um, doesn't play, then yeah, I definitely might get there with that. I definitely might get there. Aside from that, um, you know, this Embiid stuff, he's doubtful. Doubtful basically could mean questionable. You know, I, I won't be surprised if uh, about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, he's upgraded to questionable. Or he went through shoot-around. Or he's going to try to play with a brace and all this other stuff. So, 
Um, I'm just, you know, I took it easy. Put in a maxi assist because I like it whether or not Embiid is in the game as well as Derek White. I like that uh, whether or not Embiid is in the game. Um, so <clears throat> that's where we at. But if I had to lean aside in total, I would definitely lean the under, assuming um, Embiid plays. But even if not, Harden slowing it down. Um, I would lean under and I would lean 76ers with the points because um, 10 and a half points is a lot of points in the playoff game. We've already seen what the Hawks were able to do, stick around against Boston. Boston like to play with their fool, so I definitely couldn't talk you off them Sixers. Um, and if you want to take them now, thinking Embiid does play, if Embiid plays, the line probably get back down to six, seven. So um, you will get a little bit of value, but I'm good on that. Um, next game, uh, we got... Nuggets and um, Phoenix. Denver is at home. I believe they are four and a half point favorite. Um, I think the total is like 227, 228, 229. Don't give me the line. Um, yeah, so my first thoughts on this game, you know, I, not last video, but the video before last, you know, um, I was on Jamal Murray points. He covered that easily. And I was saying how. I think, you know, you have a couple stars, going to be stars games where, you know, Jokic 25, Murray 25, then 30 and 30 for Book. I had got that at like plus 1500 for game one. It got really close to hitting. Uh, Book and KD each finished with like 29. Jokic finished with like 24. So, or like maybe Book finished with 27. Um, but yeah, it was very, very close to it. I mean, if it was a close game, it would have hit most likely. But now when I put that same lay in, it's down to plus nine hundred. You know, it, you know that's that's a that's a that's a sixty dollar difference, six dollar difference, six hundred dollar difference. However you want to look at it, that's a big difference. You know, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna run that back. I may just dumb it down and do like twenty five, twenty five, twenty twenty, and make that a part as a a part of a parley. But as far as just looks for this game, um. I don't have anything but KCP, and I'm not even sure if I'll get there yet. KCP is my favorite look so far from this game. He's got uh, eight three-point attempts. I, I I was leaning toward him last game. He ended up doing well, barely going over his ten and a half, his nine and a half. I was leaning his points. Um, one of the bros gave out his threes, and his threes was actually the look. And um, I, I would agree this game too. I would agree with his threes being more the look. Um, he got eight attempts last game, and he only got to hit two. Um, and generally, when he gets six attempts, this playoffs. Um, he's hit three. He's he's doing very well when he gets the attempts. So um, I would. I, it's not like I would expect his shot to change. He didn't play a lot of minutes. Um, you still had you know Jokic go for twenty four. Um, Murray had thirty four. Gordon had a dub. So you know it's not like regression. It's not like you know you can't see Murray only having twenty seven. And, you know, um, Gordon having 12, it's not like it's not going to be shots for KCP. You know, it's not like he had 23 the first game. That's all I'm saying. So I still think he has room to grow. Um, eight three-point attempts is something I can't talk you off. So I may get there with that game. Um, that's my favorite look. But aside from that, um, you know, Jamal Murray, his points are just too high for me right now. 22 and a half I could live with. 23 and a half I could live with. Once we get to saying Jamal Murray got to have 25 every game, I'm good. And he might go for 40 this game. Um, but I'm cool. I love the 22 and a half we got. Uh, when I gave that out, even the 23 and a half, I was like, that's fine too. But now he got to score. His, his line is at 25 and a half right now. Like, I'm cool. Cool. Um, his assists. Wouldn't be a bad look in my opinion. His assist would not be a bad look just because he's getting the ball to, to Jokic a lot. And I don't know what the Suns doing with that pick and roll defense. But, man, they look just so vulnerable game one. So, we'll see how they adjust. Um, I would lean over just because, again, I don't know how they defending Denver right now. Like, honestly, even if Aaron Gordon didn't get busy, it's like Jokic could have had 40 if he wanted to that game. You know, Murray, if they kept playing, he would have had 50. So we'll see. Um, and I, again, I lean over because with Phoenix, they're going to score. They're not going to stop you. They're not going to defend. If they're going to win, they're going to outscore you. Like That is clearly um, showing itself to be the case at this point. They couldn't even stop the Clippers led by my guy Russ without Kawhi. Clippers was putting up points. So now you have what many feel is the best offensive team in the league um, ran by Jokic. So 
Yeah, um, I would have to lean the over. The over isn't too high. Like, like I said, it's between 227, 228, 229. Game seven, uh, <laughs> um, Warriors over. Uh, I mean, a game seven Warriors total. So, yeah, couldn't talk you off that over. Um, but I haven't put that in yet. The only two plays I put in, I gave y'all before. Um, and I also can't talk you off a of book and KD each going for 40. Uh, right now, I think that's like 6,500 at DK. Shop around, see what you can get. But I feel like, similar to me feeling like Murray was going to go for 41 game in this series, um, I'm not really going to play that. It, I don't know. I'm salty. I, I couldn't get the 35 plus 1,000. He finished with 34. Right now, it's 35 is plus 550. I'm not playing that shit. <laughs> I, I can't play it, man. Um, but... Yeah, like I said, I, I think there's a game this playoff and maybe this series because uh, this may be the last series for these guys. But there's definitely a 35-35 KD um, Booker game, but I won't be surprised if there's a 40-40 Booker KD game. It's going to be one of these games where, you know, they both just get out hot, you know. One one got 22 at halftime, one got 17 at halftime. And it's going to be a close game, and they're going to have to lead them to victory. And, you know, one finish with 44, one finish with 41. Uh, and like I said, I believe it's like plus 6,000 right now. So um, that series for me, I just always viewed that series as a SGP long shot lotto uh, dream of a series. We almost got it game one. Um, obviously, the book's adjusted to them lines. So we'll see what we can get going forward. But there's not really many lines that, that uh, you know, that really... You know, for lack of a better term, tickle my fancy. I don't know why that that, just, that term came to my head, but it's not really many lines out there that just made me be like, oh, I gotta hop on that. Like I said, besides the KCP three, so um, that's what we on for today. I think we got Knicks tomorrow again. Knicks, and I think we got game one of the Warriors tomorrow. Warriors and uh, Lakers. Definitely a couple looks for that game. So. Um, as always, I appreciate y'all watching, rocking with me, like the video, subscribe, and uh, let's cash some tickets. Be on the lookout. Well, I mean, hold on. It wouldn't be a show if I didn't give out one blunt. Well, shit, I did. Yeah, I can't help but give out blunt. I'm about to say, it wouldn't be a show if I didn't give out a blunt money bet. I did. Uh, KD and uh, book 35-35. Um, or you can do the 30-30-25-25 probably I did before. Should I even get y'all maxi, man? Rewind it, man. I gave y'all about four blood money bets already. So, <laughs> as always, man, like the video, subscribe to the page. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. And uh, let's